Hey boys, welcome back to another episode of my Beer Pro career mode as we we're taking on the uh, under 20s Eels round 8 of the competition. We're 65 rated overall, which isn't, you know, it's getting up there. And what? Pretty much off the kickoff, they make a break, but I come up with a huge tackle. And I, I, after playing this game a lot more, I do think that the wet, the wet weather, does make the ball harder to hold on to. Because right there, I mean, it was just a simple, a fairly simple tackle, but it jarred the ball loose. I mean, I've noticed in wet weather games, it does, the ball does um, spill a lot more, which is an awesome feature if that's actually how it works. But yeah, so we're going on the attack straight away. Nice little bit of ball playing there. I thought he was straight through the gap, but covering the defense there. And we're pushing here. Fifth tackle. Not too much gained. We didn't quite get what I'd like to. As Gagai puts in a little grubber and not the best one, honestly. Probably I would have put the bomb up. You know, wet conditions. Get the ball up in the air. Make it a contest. But yeah, after playing this... Okay, so... I have noticed, uh, I don't know if it's in this game, but games later on, the, the defense for my, the Broncos under 20s especially has increased a lot. Like, the, the opposition still make a fair few line breaks here and there, but I'm saying that as they make a line break, but <laughs> I have noticed that in future episodes, the defense does improve. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. I, I have no idea, but... <laughs> The defense definitely does improve. And that's one thing, a little tip I'll give you if you're playing a fullback and be a pro. I would re recommend using the uh, double tap triangle for the do lo uh, low diving tackle. It's pretty much 100% to pay off. Like they can get an offload away, but you're pretty much always going to make the tackle if you do it like that. And I don't know, I think it looks, it looks more realistic, the fullback coming in with a nice legs tackle. As we get involved there on the gag eye. And yeah, it's just a solid start to the game so far. Nothing too, nothing too flashy, but I've looked pretty solid. You know, we've kept they made a few a few line breaks, and we've kept them out of trouble as we get absolutely clean line, absolutely cleaned up there. But isn't gonna phase us too much. Four tackle, and I'm back here, ready for the kick, and I just didn't quite get the angle on it. It would have. I think I was behind the 40. I think that would have been a 40-20, but I didn't quite get the angle. As we look here, I think I was just behind the 40. I would say that's, yeah, I'd say it's a millimeter behind. As we do get subbed off there for Paul Burns. And that's going to be half time, 6-0. So they, they did get a try while I was off the field. So, you know, if we get the win, then that's cool. As second half, we come back and we're sub straight back on, which is nice, I think. You know, I've been playing pretty good. I think I deserve a bit more game time. As we're going to look to just just work around. I like to, honestly, like, in this, I'm going to be playing. I'm going to try to get the my hands on the ball as much as possible because not just running the ball. I don't want to just run the ball. It just wears out your stamina and that sort of thing. But just setting up other players because constantly... If you if you call for the ball like down the blind side or just wherever, you can usually draw in a player. As you'll see right here. As they don't go to me actually. Motherfucker. <laughs> we were actually if he passed it to me then I, I reckon we would have made a line break. But right there, I just I call for the ball, he runs he runs out, he throws a terrible pass to me, and I get cleaned up. But yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, ball playing in this, you know, if you take it to the line, then throw the, just a short pass, a lot of times you're going to make a half break. As the Eels almost make a break, I was, I was there covering, but didn't need to in the end. As we're actually, you know, we're defending okay. We're defending okay, keeping it tight. Four tackle here, hopefully they can come up with a big tackle here and we can get the ball back. Somewhat in good position. But the eels are, eels are spreading it wide. And we almost come up with a strip there. A nice contest. Last tackle. And <laughs> I think I think he kicked that into his own player. 
and I get subbed off again. But thankfully when I get subbed off and subbed back on, we actually have the ball. Usually when I get subbed off, we were just about to have the ball. I get subbed back on and we're defending again, which is always fun. But this time we have the ball. We're still up 6-0. Getting involved straight away because, you know, I'm not getting that much game time. So you might as well, might as well get my hands on the ball. So we pretty much just have to play smart. As we see a bit of a hole and we go straight through it and we throw a terrible pass. Just talking about playing smart and come up with that garbage. You know, there was a hole there. We went for it. We got halfway through a good covering tackle and just... It was just there. It was there for the offload, but no one was supporting. And in these conditions, you shouldn't be passing offloads like that. But we're going to have to make up for it. We're going to have to make up for it. Hopefully our boys can come up with the goods. And they actually do. They come up with some strong tackles and get the ball from a, from a loose carry. As we do... <laughs> Oh, that that looked pretty flashy. I gotta say, that was uh, behind the back there. I can't. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, actually. I I didn't actually see that live, but watching this back on replay, it looked pretty. It looked pretty cool. As we get in first receiver again, and just had the numbers there. Use the ball, and old mate, old mate, centered there. Throws a ridiculous pass. I can't say too much because I've done it. I did it just before, but I mean, come on, mate. We're <laughs> five minutes to go. You're through the hole. You don't need to be forcing the pass. We're not down by six. So the Eels are actually going to get another opportunity here, which is always dangerous because the AI defense on the goal line is not very good. It's it's pretty poor. And they're looking dangerous. They're sprinted out. Big missed tackle. Try to come up and stop the play. Didn't quite do it, but luckily our defense came across. And right here, last play of the game. Come up with a massive tackle. They're actually through the gap. That was going to be a potential uh, leveler, but came up with a nice legs tackle. And we hung on for the win, and we actually pick up man the match, which I was a little surprised with. I didn't have the best game, but my involvement was high, and I came up with a few nice tackles. So I think it's I think it's granted. As see there, we made 12 runs, 86 meters, a fair bit of kicking in that game. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you next time.